Hello and welcome to Bitcoin for Humans. Now today we're going to answer the question, why can't I cuddle my Bitcoin? Now, obviously what we mean by this is a lot of people ask, you know, there's nothing physical here. I can't own it, I can't touch it, I can't feel it, I can't cuddle it. Like, how am I supposed to understand what it means to own one of these? And like, it just feels weird, so I'm not going to not going to get into it. So we're just going to quickly step through what's actually going on behind the scenes and just try and help people understand what it means to own a Bitcoin. Okay, we'll keep it simple today. And if you want more detail, we can go into that later. So we're going to consider two components of the system, the network and the wallet. Now, each of these has a job. The job of the network is to own all the Bitcoins. This is where they all live. And it's to make sure that it follows a certain set of rules. So there are hundreds of thousands of computers all over the all over the world checking each other's work and making sure that everybody on this network where all these Bitcoin live are actually following the same rules. Rules like there can only be 21 million Bitcoins. There's a certain um, schedule on which new Bitcoins are made and they can only be transferred when they follow the rules that are encumbered on a Bitcoin. We'll get to that in a moment. Now the wallets. The wallet has one job. It's to hold your secrets. Now, secrets are very important in Bitcoin. It's how you move your Bitcoin and how you know that you own them. Okay, so the job of the wallet is to hold a secret. We often refer to this secret as a key. Here it is, it's our key, our key X, we'll call it. And it's owned by Alice that owns this hardware wallet. Now, how, how, does this, how do these two relate? Well, what happens is, any particular Bitcoin on a network, so we're going to use this one here, that's owned by key X, has a rule. So the rule here is that this Bitcoin can be moved as long as somebody can present to this network a message signed with key X. So if I can take this secret that I have and wrap a message in that secret, it's like un undoing a treasure chest, imagine it, then you can move this Bitcoin on this network Anybody can see these rules and I can go and check them myself. And the wallet software that Alice has would say, okay, go and look across all of the Bitcoin that are available in the world and check if any of them can be spended using key X. And she finds this one here. And Alice goes, oh, fantastic. There's my Bitcoin. And this is what it means to, to own a Bitcoin. It's that you own a particular secret that will allow you to spend a Bitcoin on this network. It doesn't move from this network. It never sits on paper or a phone or a computer. It's just that you have the secret that can move it on the network. Okay. Now, let's say Alice has also been buying some Bitcoin on my favorite Bitcoin exchange, Bitteroo, over here in Australia. And here's that Bitcoin. It's just there. It's in the same network, but it's assigned to private key Y, which is interesting because that's not a key that, that Alice actually controls. So when Alice's wallet scans for private keys, you just won't find that one because that actually is owned by Bitteroo, who own everything with private key Y. Now it's interesting because Alice has already paid for that and she can see it on her Bitteroo account but she doesn't actually own it yet. What she owns at the moment is an IOU from Bitteru who will deliver this to Alice if she presents them with an address. Now, an important part of Bitcoin is this phrase here, which is not your keys, not your coins. And so the idea is that Alice doesn't quite own this yet. She simply bought exposure to the price on an exchange and she can move it off as long as the exchange is willing to cooperate. There's been a lot of stuff in the news recently about people freezing things, which means that certain third parties may have to freeze things at some point in the future. So if that worries you at all, then the key thing to do is to make sure you take that and move it into a key X in this instance that Alice controls. And then you actually have it. Your keys, your coins, not your keys, not your coins. So this is what it means to own Bitcoin. Any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, I hope that was useful. Thank you. Peace.